Hey, it's John Kreider. Just wanted to give you a quick little update on the Palazzo uh, 33.3 model. This is a, a new model that Thor Motor Coach has just introduced. Uh, my family and I had an opportunity to take this on vacation and had a lot of good things to uh, talk about on it. First thing I uh, just want to mention is that uh, these uh, Comfort Fit seats by Villa. Great seats. Spent uh, two days with 15 hours behind the wheel each day. And uh, the seats were very comfortable. Didn't feel like I uh, really needed to get up and stretch or anything. Cockpit's real easy to, uh, to navigate. Windshield's nice and big. Um, had a lot of people at the campground and along the way that came up and asked us about it. Um, this is the, uh, the first Palazzo model with bunk beds. So um, gives you lots of sleeping capacity throughout the coach. So I want to give you just a quick tour of what the coach looks like on the inside and some of the features that it has. And, uh, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to make it to the dealership and uh, take a look at the Palazzo for yourself. One of the features that was really popular while we were driving, you've got to understand I had uh, myself, I had my wife, my two daughters, my sister-in-law, and her three daughters, and we all rode up here in the cockpit area together. But the location of this TV is really nice. Um, when the slide-out room is in, it's uh, not too far from the sofa. You can be seat belted in on the sofa. You've got seat belts here in the dinette. Um, everybody can kind of uh, watch the television while traveling down the road. And because of where it's located and where you sit here in the booth, uh, you really don't feel like you're ever in the way, so it gives you uh, good access to the TV and, uh, you know, when I was driving for those 15 hours in those seats, it uh, made it a lot more comfortable for the kids back here in the back. The sofa, nice sofa. really like about it is that uh, it's uh, really easy to make it to a bed. Um, you, all you pretty much do is just take the sofa and uh, you pull the, pull the cushions off here, put your cushions off to the side, take flip the back over. There's a couple of legs that once you get in in the over position, you flip down. Once you flip those down, it turns into a nice level area and then uh, we've got a full size high to bed air mattress that lays over the top of this so you get a good seating position right here. One of the coolest features that we have on this Palazzo 33.3 is this overhead bunk system. It, uh, it drops down from the ceiling, makes it real simple. Um, the kids have plenty of access to get up on the dinette or on the uh, sofa. Also, it's got a ladder built in that you can actually attach here, get up into the bed. But this also ends up being a full-size bed up here. So two people sleeping up above, two people on the sofa, one or two people in the dinette. We haven't even made it to the bunks yet. And uh, already we're looking at uh, sleeping from anywhere from four to six people already. This residential refrigerator, it was definitely, uh, it definitely uh, paid for itself along the trip. Um, it's 18 cubic foot, a lot bigger than most of the uh, standard RV refrigerators, which are around 12 cubic foot, some even less, um, 8 or 10. Uh, but as you can see here, once I take this travel lock out to keep the doors from uh, possibly opening while going down the road, uh, we've got lots of room on the inside. So, like I said, had, uh, had uh, seven... Seven ladies traveling with me along the way, and we had plenty of freezer and refrigerator space. Uh, really made the trip nice. Uh, didn't have to stop along the road and uh, had the opportunity to make lunch or grab a soda or um, get, grab a quick bite to eat while we were the on the The kitchen road. area here, you can see that uh, it's got a nice layout, nice and big. Convection microwave, it's stainless steel, and it's a 30-inch OTR model. A dual bowl sink. You can see we've got lots of storage below, three burner cooktop. Good lighting up in the uh, overhead in the kitchen area itself, including some lights under the microwave. So when it comes to countertop space, I had plenty of room to put my coffee maker and my toaster. And we never felt like it was in the way, so it was uh, real easy to use and not have to put away every night while traveling. One of the things that people really love about the Palazzo is the size of the shower. And this is an oversized shower, and as you can tell, I'm not the smallest guy in the world. So I'm about, uh, about 5'11", about 250 pounds. And you can see, uh, I can hop in the shower, and I can turn around. I'm not hitting the door, I'm not hitting the handles, I'm not doing anything. So lots of room in the shower area. Once again, when I get out, I've got a nice little area where I can change. I've um, got the stool, got a nice little vanity. 
Um, also, a single bowl sink there and some overhead storage. Uh, this was definitely the place that got probably uh, the most amount of use um, on our trip. The bunk bed area here, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat little setup we've got going on. Um, this is convertible to a couple different things. First of all, you'll see that there's uh, real doors on it. Um, so you know, just have the accordion door that maybe you'd have or just a, a screen. So you can take these doors and you can close off the entire area. So uh, somewhere down the road, when maybe you're not traveling with kids anymore, uh, now you can convert this over and this can be a full wardrobe. And uh, the, the, uh, the bunks lay down into a way that uh, it makes into a full wardrobe. So uh, as you buy this uh, coach, maybe when the kids are younger, um, as the co kids get a little bit older and maybe they don't sleep in the bunks anymore, um, you can be assured that this coach is still going to be usable. You're just going to gain a lot of storage area. Um, a couple of really cool things. First of all, um, we've got TVs in both of the bunks. As you can see, there's no TV located in the top bunk because it's actually located across the hallway. You can take that TV, you move it from one side of the coach to the other. And so now, if you're traveling along the way and you decide, hey, we're going to stop, um, make up some popcorn, and the, the kids are going to uh, have something to eat, you can actually take this top bunk and you can flip it down and convert it, and uh, now you got a sofa. So, 22 inch TV across the hall, sofa over here. Kids get their popcorn and everything, sit down, enjoy the uh, the movie, uh, and then when it's bedtime, flip those uh, that bunk back up, and uh, it's ready for uh, sleeping. The kids will also be happy because we do have uh, some storage areas down here. Each one of the kids is going to get their own nice deep drawer, full extension drawer guides. Also, underneath the bottom bunk here, there's two cubby holes on each side. So, if you've got some bigger things, you get your backpack, you got your knapsack as you're traveling with, you can take and you can store those underneath the, uh, the bunk here, and then they're out of the way, and uh, but easy to access by the kids. Last but not least on the bunks themselves, I will mention these are, these are real bunks. These aren't those micro bunks that some people put in their coaches. Um, this is a real bunk. Through the week, uh, I have the opportunity to sleep on it. Um, like I said, I'm uh, 5'11", 250, and uh, I had no problem getting down here in the lower bunk and sleeping throughout the week and being uh, plenty comfortable. So, uh, if you've uh, got some older kids and you're worried about whether the, uh, the bunk is big enough for them, um, unless they're basketball players, I'd say you're probably okay. All right, kind of rounding out the uh, the back side of this uh, Plaza 33.3, uh, and you can see the bedroom area. Um, really good use of storage back here. We've got some shirt closets, we've got some overhead, we've got some drawers. Also, if we kind of pan around here, you can see we've got shirt closets on the other side. Um, and then, uh, you know, one of the most impressive parts that you'll see is uh, the storage is actually located underneath the bed. So if you kind of pan down here, um, you'll notice that uh, the storage under the bed, the converters at the front of the bed, storage underneath the bed and uh, as you can see here um, we get a nice big storage area if you've got uh, um, blankets pillows um, sleeping bags um, toilet paper um, paper towels all that can fit underneath this bed area and in a lot of coaches this is just wasted space so you get lots of uh, lots of area here for um, storage underneath now when it comes to uh, storage for clothes um, we do have a couple of wardrobe options. All right, so back here we have lots of uh, wardrobe space. As you can see here, wardrobe opens up. Got some uh, hanging storage, got some shoe storage below. Lots of drawers, nice little vanity. Got overhead storage. Also, you're going to have um, a nightstand. You will see, uh, as we come around to this side of the coast, you'll see some uh, some neat features. One of the, uh, one of the really cool features on uh, this side of the bed is not only the fact that you've got some full pull, uh, pull out storage, you also have a clothes hamper. So, I know it's a little bit hard to see in this picture, but there's a clothes hamper that flips out. So, um, all those dirty clothes as you're, as you're kind of traveling throughout the week or the weeks um, have a little place that can be stored. One of the coolest features if you have a lot of people traveling with you is this mud room. Um, if you look down here, when you, uh, when you enter the Palazzo here uh, on this 33.3 model, we have uh, what we call a mud room. Um, every day on vacation, 
Uh, we were throwing shoes in there. If we were coming back from the store, we were throwing our volleyballs in there. Um, some of our fishing equipment we threw in there. Uh, but it's a great little place to store things uh, that's out of the way, that doesn't impede on your uh, entry, uh, and keeps all those shoes and everything off the floor from inside of the coach. Another feature that I really liked on the outside of this Palazzo 33.3 .3 is the storage compartment. Um, it's passed through underneath the frame rail. You get lots of storage um, inside here. Uh, but what's really cool is, uh, like some of the, the, the higher end, uh, more expensive diesels, have the slide tray so you can move things in and out. Uh, this Palazzo has a slide tray. So this Palazzo has a slide tray that uh, you can pull out. Um, we loaded up all of our lawn chairs, um, all of those foldable chairs, um, and threw them up on top of here. And then uh, we could slide that up and out of the way. And then I have full access to all my storage on this side, um, which was really helpful, especially as we were moving things in and out of the campsite.